People often say nothing survived from the Ediacaran period. But that's not exactly true. What actually went extinct was the Ediacaran biota, a specific group of strange, soft-bodied organisms that lived on microbial mats in shallow seas. These included organisms like Dickinsonia, Fractofusus, and Sprigina, and they had no mouths, no guts, no sensory organs, and in many cases no clear symmetry. Their body plans were so unusual that scientists still debate whether some of them were even animals. They completely disappeared before the Cambrian explosion began, and none of them left any direct descendants in modern animal groups, but the Ediacaran period itself did not end in a total wipeout of life. Some of the earliest true animals likely evolved during this same period, just not as part of the dominant Ediacaran biota. For example, sponge-like organisms, which represent the simplest animal body plan, may have already evolved by this time. Some fossils such as Otavia suggest sponge-grade organisms existed over 600 million years ago. Similarly, impressions in Ediacaran rocks show jellyfish-like structures and holdfasts that could represent early Cnidarians, the group that includes jellyfish and corals. More importantly, we find fossils of animals like Kimberella, which had a clear front and back, a soft body, and signs that it might have had a muscular foot and feeding organ, traits we associate with mollusks. Then there's Icaria, a tiny burrowing worm about the size of a grain of rice, which lived over 555 million years ago and shows bilateral symmetry, meaning it had a left and right side. That makes it a possible ancestor of all bilaterians, the group that includes everything from worms and insects to fish and mammals. So while the iconic Ediacaran organisms all went extinct, the period itself included the earliest appearances of true animal ancestors. These early animals were rare, small, and poorly preserved, so they don't dominate the fossil record. But molecular clock studies based on DNA suggest that the ancestors of most modern animal groups must have existed during or even before the late Ediacaran. In short, the Ediacaran didn't end in total extinction, it ended in a dramatic ecological shift. The dominant forms of life were replaced. The strange, passive organisms that had covered the seafloor were gone, but in their place, new forms were rising burrowers, movers, predators. The Cambrian explosion didn't start from nothing. It built on quiet survivors that had already begun rewriting the rules of evolution before the Ediacaran ended.